Howdy! Welcome to Vaccines and You. I'm Vince from Texas A&M University. And in this series, we're gonna be asking questions like, what are vaccines? Why do we get vaccinated? And when do we get vaccinated? And when shouldn't we get vaccinated? But before we talk about vaccines, let's start at the very beginning. What actually makes us sick? Welcome to the world of microbes. Short for microscopic or microorganisms, microbes are so tiny they can only be seen with a microscope. And despite being so small, they can make us seriously sick. There are several types of microbes, but today let's just look at bacteria. I know you've heard about bacteria, but what exactly are they? Well, bacteria are tiny, single-celled organisms, and we also call them germs. And they're alive. They're in the soil, on your skin, yep, on your skin, in your gut, in your nose, and yes, before you ask, you can have bacteria in your snot. So bacteria are everywhere, even living on your skin. But wait, that's okay, because those bacteria are usually good. However, some bacteria are not so good for us. So, do you have good bacteria, or bad bacteria, or both? If you're feeling healthy, it's pretty safe to say that most of your tiny little bacteria guests are good bacteria. Rock on. What about the bad bacteria? Well, the first sign of the bad guys is that you don't feel well or you have a sore. You know, like when you scraped your arm climbing over a fence and now the scrape is red and oozy. Guess what got in that scrape? Right, bad bacteria. But what if some seriously bad bacteria get in your body? What happens? Ever hear of typhoid? E. coli, cholera, tetanus, tuberculosis? Talk about making us sick. These guys have injured and killed millions and millions of people, making them pretty much the worst in bacteria land. Okay, <laughs> let's talk to an expert about this. Today, we're lucky enough to speak with Dr. Desard, an immunologist from Texas A&M University. Let's ask him a few questions. Howdy, Dr. Desard. Howdy, Vince. Hey, so let's talk about bacteria. If there are billions of them on our skin, why don't we just wash them off? Well, washing your hands is very important, but washing only removes the most superficial bacteria. Most of them remain deep in the skin, inside pores and hair follicles, and even the most thorough washing will not remove them all. Okay, what about bacteria inside our body? Good or bad? Well, we humans have billions of bacteria living inside our intestines, and they are usually of enormous benefit. They help us digest our food, they keep our defenses in tip-top condition. These are the good bacteria. But what about the bad bacteria? Sometimes bad bacteria break in and cause disease, right? Certainly. We call these bad bacteria pathogens. And it is the job of our immune system to keep these bad guys out. But if the immune system fails and misses, we may be invaded, kind of like soldiers attacking and breaking through a line of defense. And if pathogens succeed in breaking in and living in our bodies, they can grow, they can destroy tissues and cells, and some may even destroy us completely. Okay, uh, that's not good. How do these attacking pathogens actually get in then? How are they successful? Well, they can get in through skin wounds, like a cut or a scratch or a pimple, or we can breathe them in with every breath we take, or we can eat them and they can break through our intestinal defenses. Okay, well, what can we do about it? Well, our amazing bodies have many different defense mechanisms to fight, catch, and then destroy the invaders, just like soldiers do. And then there's a couple of ways we can help our body fight pathogens. One of the obvious ones is to kill the bacteria with antibiotics after they force their way in and we get sick. The other is what we call vaccination. We can vaccinate ourselves to help the immune system fight off and destroy the pathogens. Wow, bacteria, tiny little microbes, some good, some bad, some can really make us sick. So 
I'm gonna go wash my hands, but I'll see you next time to talk a little bit about viruses.